Hey everybody, I'm, uh, well, I'm back, and I'm going to do a quick video for you. Uh, I've been noticing a lot on YouTube, a lot of people, YouTubers, beauty YouTubers, bloggers, vloggers, everyone is doing a finish by or a pan that palette, and I had a situation yesterday that required the uh, help of my other half, and it was basically that some of the drawers in the one of the uh, cabinets, I guess you could call it, file boxes, something that I keep my makeup in was jammed. And the reason it was jammed is because there was um, other things kind of blocking it, obviously meaning the drawers were too full, obviously meaning you need to go through your makeup. So I did go through my makeup and I actually threw out quite a few concealers and um, some foundations, but I thought, you know what? I got to get on board and I'm not necessarily going to do a pan that palette um, or a finish by because I, I notice that every time somebody tags me in something I either don't do the tag or I don't finish or I don't post a results video and uh, like I just don't want to set myself up for failure again. So what I did was I gathered some items that I hadn't used in a little while and I'm basically giving myself till... March to finish these items or to at least use them significantly significantly to the point where I won't feel absolutely horrible about getting rid of them. So um, I mainly focused on my foundations and primers because that seems to be what I have quite a bit of and um, yeah quite a bit of. So things that I won't show you every single thing in here but things that I really am focusing on um, and, and like, actually, I want to finish up the Face Stockholm Tinted Mineral Moisturizer, and I'm actually almost done with it. So I figure by March, this will be gone, definitely. And then I thought I had used my Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. Again, it's one of those products where I'm right to here on it. So between these two things, these will definitely be gone by March. And now that they're sitting in my bathroom in a box, I'm more likely to focus and pay attention. The All-in-One BB Cream by The Body Shop. Again, great product. I think I'm about halfway through. I have to really kind of shake this and look at it. Um, but something else that I can use up. Let's see what I've got here that you haven't seen in a while the uh, Marcel BB cream, which I absolutely love. And I, I have backups of this stuff. I have backups of this one and I have backups of the Golden Glow. So um, I'm gonna try to get through as much as these uh, of these as I can as well. And then uh, foundation wise, I have the Perfection Lumiere by Chanel, which I have about a third left about here and then the Dior Capture Total which I'm really scraping the bottom of this so that'll that'll be gone for sure which is great and then primer wise um, Laura Mercier foundation primer radiance there might be two uses left in this the tube is like so light then um, youth code pore vanisher I've got a backup of this but I might as well use this one while it's open and then something I haven't used in a long time, and again, I'm thinking one to two uses max on this, is the Cargo Activating Face Primer. So there's not that much left. So that'll make a significant dent. Um, and then I put some other things in there just in case. Something else that I gathered together were some palettes because that actually was the drawer that was jammed, where was my palette drawer. Um, so palettes that I I love but you know I've had and if I don't use them they really pretty much have to go um, so I won't feel terrible because I have one two three four five the first one is what I have on today which is kind of worn off because I worked a full day is the wet and wild comfort zone palette and I broke the top of this so it's like holding on by the sticker, but I absolutely love this palette. Um, I usually stay on this side, but occasionally I drift over to the greens, and um, it's a great palette. It's absolutely wonderful. The shadows are such good quality. 
I'll be really sad if I don't um, make a significant dent in this um, by March, but um, not too sad because this is pretty easy on the wallet and they still sell this. Something I haven't taken out in a long time is my Skin Cosmetics Lux Premier Eyeshadow Collagen Boost Treatment Shadow Collection in Seduction. These are good shadows. It's, it's not that I don't like these shadows. And in fact, I really like the compact because it's got a mirror it's, and it's got this little like plastic cover over the shadows because they, they're not messy when you open them up. So I'm just going to flip this over so you don't get glare from the mirror. But again, a nice neutral collection. Beautiful shadows. Uh, just haven't used them. Um, I noticed that I did dip into the matte black, so probably for liner. So this is this is something that I think even would be good for travel. Something that I love near and dear, and you will see that I've used this, is my Shoot Mara Raspberry and Mocha Palette, and I'm glad that I used it because, as we all know, Shoot Mara is not cheap. Um, you will see that I have made a dent in this palette for sure, especially over on the shimmer side. So I'm going to try to get more into this matte side. Um, as you can see, the, the gold overspray is still on these. But again, I've dipped into this deep um, chocolate brown. Uh, I'm big on, I'm a big fan of lining um, my eyes with powder, especially on my upper lid. Something that's really, really haven't used in a while, but I used to use it as my kind of night out palette is this Lancome color design taupe craze. And this has five shadows in it. It's got base, lid, crease. It kind of tells you what to do on the back here, just like the Wet n Wild one does too. Um, and there it is. So again, I've, I've, you know, I've used this enough that you can, you can see that I've used it, but we could use it a little bit more. And finally, uh, a Chanel palette. This is Harmony du Soir. Du Soir? Du Soir? How do you say that? S-O-I-R? Soir. Soir. So I got that right. Okay. And this is, again, gorgeous. Cranberry, gold, a, a light milk chocolate, and a pink. Chanel quads are, I find, are hit and miss. Some are really great formulation-wise, and some are not. Uh, this one is really great, and I like it a lot. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking some stuff, gathering it up, and we'll see what happens when March rolls around, and hopefully it will work out. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for me um, or want to tell me about your video, please feel free to throw the link in there, leave me a comment. Uh, to new subscribers, thanks so much for subscribing. I've been trying to be more consistent with my videos, but I'm coming off the holiday season and coming off working two jobs. I haven't been feeling that well. I'm sure you could see my nose is a little bit red. And uh, I think that's it. Shout outs to my nail tech, Elizabeth, at Me and Tea Studio in Toronto. These are my almond shaped uh, Louboutin nails. They were done free form with red acrylic, no tips. And uh, I have to say, I am pretty impressed. So thanks, thanks again. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.